Developing this morning, the search continues for the shooter responsible for killing two teens outside of Benito Juarez High School on Friday. Many students will return to classes there this morning where extra security and grief counselors will be on campus. CBS News Assault Rezai joins us live with more on this story. She's in Pilsen. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Ryan Audrina. The, this is day four, as you mentioned, of that search for the gunman that left two teens dead here and two others injured. Chicago police saying they're continuing their investigation this morning as this community has been left devastated. Now, this shooting happened at about 2.30 on Friday as school was getting out for the weekend. Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown said some investigators suspect this might have been part of a gang conflict and a community alert police putting out a picture of a possible suspect caught on cameras nearby. Two teenage boys were shot and in the head and killed. Those victims, 14-year-old Nathan Biegas and 15-year-old Brandon Perez, were told the two other teens shot, 15-year-old and a 15-year-old girl and a 15-year-old boy, I should say, were told they are now doing okay. They were shot in the leg. Community leaders came together over the weekend saying they will be giving a reward for anyone who can help police get any information on this suspect. And over the weekend, the latest we're told by school officials and police is that there will be extra security present here at the school, along with grief counselors as a search for that shooter continues this morning. We are live in Pilsen. That's all reside CBS 2 News.